What's up guys, I'm back again for another evening on call and a quick video from the hospital. It is about one o'clock in the morning. I've been here since 9 a.m. I'm here for a 24 hour shift and it's been quite a day. It's been really hectic and it looks like I might have a few moments of slowdown before it gets crazy again. So what I wanna talk about today is again continuing my discussion about residency given the fact that this is my second residency i'm currently in my second year of radiology residency i already completed three years of internal medicine training and what i want to talk about is how residency breaks you now every physician is going to reach a point during medical training where you're going to be pushed to your absolute limits you're going to be working long hours you're gonna be tired, you're gonna feel overwhelmed, and for the first time in your life, you might feel anxiety and depression. And to be honest, like, you know, a lot of physicians in training and a lot of residents in general go through this. I myself never felt depression or anxiety before, but I feel like as close that I've, as I've ever gotten to feeling depressed or anxious has been during residency. Um, for example, today, was an extremely busy night so far and I still have quite a few hours probably like what seven or eight hours ahead of me so the night is still young and it's another 24 hour shift I've I'm tired I'm chronically tired I'm afraid to make mistakes I don't want to cause harm to the patients I have to make decisions fast I have to talk with other clinicians talk with nurses and formulate plans and try to come up with whatever is the best solution for these patients. I talk to the ER phys physicians at all times and sometimes the volume is just so much that you just become overwhelmed. Today, no matter how fast I was going, no matter what I was doing, I was always a few studies behind. I was never able to catch up since I stepped foot in the hospital till about close to midnight. I did not catch up to the studies that were coming from the ER. I was still playing catch up throughout this entire time. And this is not unique to radiology. I felt, I've had multiple times where I felt the same way during medicine and so have my colleagues. So essentially, what's the, what's the whole point of me telling you this? What I'm trying to tell you is that you have to know going into this, going into medical residency, if you're a first year resident, you have to know that you are eventually gonna reach this point where you are gonna feel overwhelmed you're going to feel like a high school student or someone who's in grade school is going to, and you're going to be speaking to physicians that are maybe 10 years, 15 years older than you, you know, veterans in the game and they're going to be asking you for your opinion because you are a radiologist or you are, you know, a fellow first year fellow in some medical subspecialty or you know, you're an intern in surgery, so maybe the the attendings are going to ask you your opinion. And that happens even now. Sometimes I don't feel confident, I don't feel comfortable making the decision, um, and I don't feel confident in my skills at this point. I still feel like I'm early in my, in my radiology career, but I have to be able to speak to clinicians in real time and give them feedback and you know, give them an answer in real time from what they need. And sometimes that overall can be a very overwhelming process. And when you go through that again and again, you eventually do start to feel you know, worn down and it starts to become extremely stressful. Like now for the next 24 hours, I am the only radiologist, interventional radiologist for this entire hospital. I, I am the radiology department for the next 24 hours. And that pressure on your shoulders, you know, day in and day out, when you continuously do calls, like it starts to catch up on you and you do feel overwhelmed. And you know, you do feel like sometimes you might have a breakdown. And you know what, it's not your fault, it's kind of the way the American medical education system works. And unfortunately, you know, there's no way around it. But there is good news and there is one light at the end of the tunnel and that's the whole reason why I'm making this video. That's basically because at the end of this entire process, you are gonna be pushed to your limits and you're gonna learn your own limits. And honestly, you're gonna become impressed with the amount of multitasking and the amount of knowledge that you're able to juggle all at the same time. So eventually what's gonna happen is this is, at the end, is gonna just make you a better clinician. It's just gonna make you a better physician. And essentially the whole residency system is trained and built around 
the concept of breaking you because after you're broken and you have to deconstruct yourself back together again, that's how you're going to end up becoming a much better clinician in the, wrong, in the long run. So essentially, you know, just be prepared mentally that you are going to be broken down as a first year, as a resident physician, doesn't matter what year you are, but you're going to be broken down and you're going to have to reconstruct yourself. And at the end of the day, when you're done with the training, it works. That's 100%. The, the training system, the way it's set up in the United States, it's not ideal, but it works. You're going to be tired, you're going to be stressed, you're going to be overwhelmed, but it works in the end. So, you know, you got to just grind every single day, take it one day at a time. Literally, I take it one day at a time. I don't even think about what's going to happen tomorrow. I just focus on finishing up what I'm doing, doing for today, and I start to plan for tomorrow in the evening. I don't, even, I don't even think about it. I don't even think about what lectures are happening, you know, two or three days down the road. I don't even think about what's going on, you know, later on in the week. All I do is just go one step at a time, literally one day at a time, and before you know it, residency just flies by because you're so busy and you're just on the go and go, 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 and on the move the entire time. Um, so yeah, I'm definitely rambling, but you know what, it's late at night, and you know if you can learn from these experiences since I'm here in the hospital, um, maybe when it's your turn to be on 24-hour call and it's, on, it's your turn to be the resident, hopefully this can help somebody out in the future. So let me know your thoughts down below. Just remember, you know, keep trying, don't give up. Whether you're in medical school trying to get in or if you're in residency and you're trying to find the light at the end of the tunnel and become an attending physician, don't give up. You know, it's a daily grind. Just keep at it because at the end of the day, you know, countless and countless of physicians have gone through exactly what, you're, what you've gone through and, you know, they've all made it and they're all great, great clinicians and you will be too someday. So with that being said, um, until next time, let's hope that the rest of the evening turns out okay, and I'll see you again later.